Hey, what is going on, guys? V Boy Gamer to the T here, bringing you another episode of a career mod series. And as you can see here, guys, we are changing up the lineup for the next game, which is against Southampton. As we did some come so close against Liverpool in the last game to getting a draw, but Pepe Reina did keep them in it. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm just uh, changing the whole thing up. Ross McCormack is going to be the new captain for Leeds because I think he's such a crucial player. He deserves to be captain, and I believe he can captain this side because he's such a good player. And I, be I just believe he is the best. He's the best player there, and he just deserves it. And uh, just I just thought I'd give him. A he give he has a lot of roles in the squad as well, as you can tell. But now we do go into the next game against Southampton, and uh, I did change up the lineup. Do but. Dubabria is in the lineup too, the centre defensive midfielder who is 19 years old, who is doing brilliant at the moment. But we started fantastically well. What a strike that is from Chris Wood. Six minutes in, we are 1 0 up. Fantastic start from us there. And it was Marvin Emnes who, again, is playing fantastic at the moment. Really is. Uh, been the most outstanding player. And what a tackle that from Jason Pierce. And does actually injure Gaston Ramirez, who is an, such a crucial player for Southampton. Uh, so that was actually a big, big plus for us. But uh, yet again there, McCarthy, who's just fa starting to find his feet with Leeds, pulls out a great stop. And another good stop there. What a save. Uh, but uh, yet again, Southampton were looking to break us down and we're playing some good stuff. And uh, yet again, they were causing them some trouble. And uh, as you can see there, massive mistake from me there. And they will score 37 minutes and it's one all. And then again, Emnes gets in the ball here. Gives it to Lee Pelletier on the, on the left-hand side. Lee Pelletier puts in the ball. And what a pull from the keeper. The keeper has mucked it up. We are now winning 2-1 at half time. And that is fantastic. Uh, this will be a fantastic result if we can get it, guys. 78 minutes in here. Marvin Emnes is through. He has got the pace to go past every single one. He shoots. What a goal. What a finish from Marvin Emnes, that is. We are now winning 3-1. Fantastic play from Marvin Emnes there. And Radolf Foster, who played the through ball. And yet again here, we get a, on the 90th minute here. They, they do not clear the ball. Wright Phillips gets in the ball. Leandrinho gets in the ball. Leandrinho shoots. He scores. What a finish from Leandrinho. He is playing fantastic at the moment. And I'm actually bringing him on for a substitute as well. Uh, from, um, I believe, from McCormack a lot of the time. So uh, that is quite a good thing. But uh, yet again, Aidan White is still not quite happy. And uh, he still wants to play. But uh, I'm not going to allow him to play if he does not really want to be at this club. So, I mean, why should I play him? Why should I? Because there's no there's no reason to play him, guys. Tell me your opinion on guys. Why, if you think uh, Aiden White should play? Because I mean, I think the team's doing all right without him. So uh, anyway, Hazard gets in the ball here, puts in a great ball. Marvin Emmons just could not get his head on it. He is playing so well. He's Marvin Emmons at the moment. Uh, really, really well. He's been the best player by a mile. Uh, Chalabin, then Chalabin gets in the ball in the, inside the area, gives it to Emmons. Emmons shoots and scores. What a goal that is. What a finish as well. Really well played yet again from us there. Uh, one And we are 1-0 up. Then what a through ball that is to Lee Peltier. The left back at the current time. And uh, sent, then Sanier gets on the ball. And what a save from the keeper there. And uh, then Hazard uh, yet again causing problems on that left midfield spot. Puts in the ball. So close from Chris Wood. But yet again what a dominating first half that is. Um, we are 1-0 up. Should be about 3-0 up. Uh, but great first half was there. And then, uh, yet again, Bolton came out with a bit more fight. And Sordell here, getting through the lines. He shoots, but L again. Alex McCarthy playing so well at the minute. And uh, I, I, gotta, I can't fault the guy. He's grown in confidence so much. But uh, yet again here. I was so unlucky there from Senna. He has got an absolute blistering shot on him, guys. Honestly. But McCormack here, down on the left-hand side. He passes it to Chris Wood. Chris Wood shoots, but good save from uh, Bogdan there. Uh, and then, on the right right side here, uh, Mustafi, the right-back, at the current time, is meant to be a centre-back. But he gives it to McCormack. Gives it to Chris Wood. He shoots. Step back, son. Chris Wood is on fire. Honestly, guys, he is in, on top form at the minute. I cannot fault anyone in this squad at the moment. They are all playing fantastic. Uh, and we've got a bit of a running form here. We've got, if we can get, uh, be, I believe uh, this will be the second uh, second win on the trot. So, yeah. Uh, but McCormack here doing the absolute fantastic. I had to put that clip in there because, honestly, he did so well there, but on his own. Uh, and we do win 2-0 away from home. We've got a clean sheet as well, which is even better. And we're uh, ninth at the table. 
uh, I cannot fault that, guys. We've almost uh, avoided relegation already. Um, I mean, it, we'll be on 25 points if we can uh, actually win this game. We're at home as well, and we're against Stoke. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a definitely a winnable game. And one player I did see in this squad, guys, Lewis Muriel. This guy can go up to a potential of 8, 90, and Stoke have him. Stoke have bought Mur Muriel. I'm oh, amazed when I saw it. But uh, it's uh, yet to get Stoke here, causing us problems. Muriel gets in the ball, he shoots, and I don't know how McCarthy yet again has stopped it, yet again, playing so well. Uh, but then Hazard, yet again, uh, Chris Wood lays off Hazard, puts in a blistering ball. Right, Phillips got on the end of that, but really, really well played yet again from us again. Just, I cannot fault the guys, honestly. But yet again, that was a really well played there, Stoke. I, I, I mean, I cannot fault uh, Alex McCarthy there, because it's... It's uh, nothing uh, that I could, he could do about it. It's hit him. But uh, uh, yet again here, we're on a ball. Gives it to Wright Phillips. Chalaber gets on the ball. Shoots. Bang. We are now one all uh, in the 37th minute. Good stuff from Leeds. Uh, McCormack then gets on the ball. 41st minute here. Uh, has an absolute blistering shot. Jack Butland makes a fantastic save there. And well, it is one all at half time. And uh, we do get a free kick here just after the half. Chris Wood has a shot. Good save from Butland, though. One, it's still one all yet again. 52nd minute here. Lewis Muriel ca causing us a bit of a problem. And it goes through. Tom Lee's like nothing. But Alex McCarthy pulls off a stop again. Hazard then gets on the ball. But it is deflected out for a corner. And you know who takes the corners now. It is now Wright Phillips' chance to shine. Puts in a beauty ball. Chris Wood is there. And what a header. Great header in the back of the net. Another goal. And uh, they would have changed, guys. But it did not matter anymore, guys. Because we have bagged ourselves another three points. Three games. Three wins in this episode. Uh, but there was a message coming from um, Richard Chapel asking to leave the club. And that is a squad report for this month, guys. What a squad report that is. It really, really is. And... Look at that, guys. This team has got potential. And that is all I'm going to say. But yes, again, guys, this has been your boy, VWargamers of Fatigue, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Come and get 15 likes as well. I'll see you guys later.